Totally screwed up. Oh, that was nice. What's up everybody and welcome back here to Forza Horizon 4 on LEGO Expansion. We are in the new Ford Ranger Raptor, just cruising around on it stock right now. We are going to probably throw some uh, mods onto this thing and see if we can't get this thing sideways because you know that is exactly what we're going to do today. We do have it in sequential mode because this car has nine gears plus an overdrive. Oh, we're just going to go through the city. Looks like it has an overdrive gear as well. So we have so many gears to play with in this truck. So definitely a cool truck. So like I said, we are definitely going to uh, be uh, throwing some performance mods onto this thing and uh, having some fun with it. Probably switching it to rear wheel drive and uh, shredding it that way. We might also, you know, rip this thing fully powered in all wheel drive. And just uh, see what the difference is and see what kind of fun we can have with this thing. Could it be the new favorite drift truck? I don't know. Let's find out. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. Don't forget to tap that like button. I do appreciate all the support from you guys. So uh, let's get to having a little fun with this thing. So as for performance upgrades, it looks like we can upgrade the twin turbo engine and stuff like that. We are sitting at 211 horsepower stock. And uh, we're definitely going to be bumping that up. So let's do all the other mod performance to this thing first. Throw some race brakes on there. Throw some rally suspension on it so we can uh, maybe possibly get a little bit more angle. We're going to leave stock weight. We're just going to throw some sway bars and rally suspension in it. And then we're going to do all the drivetrain components other than the transmission. We'll leave, we'll leave the transmission stock just uh, for sake of performance. And then, oh, we can widen the track width. You know, we're going to widen this truck out as much as we can. Do we have any? We can do engine swaps, okay. Type of body kit changing can we do? We can add a brush bar to the front. That's pretty sweet. And we can add a full rally style back with two tires that's awesome we may be doing that when we go full blown out with this truck but we're gonna leave it stock for now so we take off the running boards and the mud flaps we're gonna do running boards and mud flaps on so let's uh throw on some uh 1552 wheels shall we and uh I don't know if I'm feeling those. I think I'm going to feel the other style. Uh, yeah, there we go. We'll throw on some 1552s. So, we are going to throw some power on this thing. And we are going to run it all-wheel drive first. Because 210 horsepower factory is uh, not very fun for the sake of this. So, we are going to bump this thing up 490. 513 throw a light and flywheel on there so some oil cooler I I think we're just gonna go full out we're just gonna go all the way out with this thing power wise we're gonna leave it factory body styling for the moment so we are at 581 horsepower on this stock engine I feel like we're gonna actually have a little bit of fun with this how it sits so we're going to go rip around this thing all-wheel drive, and then we're going to switch it up probably to rear-wheel drive and see if we can't get this thing sideways and have a little fun drifting. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. We do have the factory transmission still in it, so we are still running um, nine gears plus an overdrive. So uh, I'm kind of excited to uh, send this thing out of here. So let's go. So we got a little bit more power in this thing now. We're going to send it off a jump. Why not? into the sand I feel like this thing does thrive on off-road 
just ripping through the sand, doing a little, uh, you know, cleaning up of the beach. This truck is actually very fun, and it's a cool looking truck. I did get to see one of these in real life, and it does look amazing. So, they don't need those chairs. So, we're just gonna do a little off roading with it for right now and see how much mayhem we can cause. Oh, jeez. All right, stay on the road a little bit. So if you guys have this, what have you done with it? Have you just turned it into a Baja truck, essentially? We are still using a clutch, even though we are on sequential. Just because uh, clutch kicks. We did get another challenge complete. There we go. Just got some more Lego bricks. This car is moving. We are pretty much, we are hauling right now through these woods and it's handling we were ripping through there at almost hundreds of miles an hour but it did not bat an eyelash oh. trailblaze all right let's do it oh that's not what we want to do save it oh Well, that essentially just failed that trailblaze, I believe. I don't think we're gonna be able to get there in time because we did flip the truck. It's almost, uh, almost an epic drop down, but unfortunately, we failed on this trailblaze here on this first try. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make it through those trees anyways. Maybe we still will make it. Doubt it. Nope. Oh, no worries. Come on, let's go again. We just missed it. So now let's see if we can have a little all-wheel drive fun in here. don't believe we have if we lock the diff we might be able to get some fun but it's not looking like it's gonna slide too well oh so we may have to switch the thing to rear wheel drive to really have some fun with this truck just try and discover some roads here so like I said, if you guys have this and you guys are using it, what are you using it for? There's a rainbow. Is there a pot of gold at the end of it? We probably won't be able to find it. Just ripping through. Banging gears on this trans. That tree does not give. So I think we're going to switch it to rear wheel drive. And uh, see uh, what we can do with it in a rear wheel drive conversion, mess with the suspension and stuff like that. So we're gonna go switch this up. All right, let's change up the tune a little bit here. Drop tire, we did change the tires as well. We, we did put the transmission on there, so we're gonna throw some camber in this thing. Throw some toe. Drop in some caster. Leave all that there, and I think we're gonna drop it as low as we can get it to go and see if we can get this thing to slide a little bit better. And uh, we're definitely gonna just lock the rear end out. So we did switch to rear wheel drive. We did lower it down there. Oh, that looks pretty sweet. We can drop down like that. So we are gonna definitely try and get this thing sideways and drift it and have some fun. Oh, and she already wants to get sideways. Just gotta find a, a good turn or some good sections to just tear this thing sideways. Ooh, little slide. But uh, it definitely wants to go.
think the gearing is a little weird in this thing. But I think we will be able to get this thing drifting in some lower speed sections. For sure. Oh! Stay on the grass. Or stay on the grass, stay off the grass. So, it's very different. But it slides. I think it likes lower speed drifting. Maybe second gear. I feel like we could probably lower the gear ratio a little bit to get some more uh, power on this thing. I think we need to change that, so let's quickly change that. And uh, I feel like this thing is good to slide. It's definitely uh, it's definitely sliding a little bit more now. So we need to increase acceleration so that we can uh, use some higher gears and not bog the car out completely. I'm gonna go up this hill. Into the Lego section we go. I mean, if I had a if I had a Raptor Ranger, I would probably be doing this too. There we go. I think we found the ticket now. It does like a little bit lower speed drifting. It's got angle. It has angle, but it's not having the power like I want it to in this factory motor. So let us go to the telltale all out testing area that is the track where we do have some people already out there we may have to do a motor swap on this thing to get some more power uh, i'm wondering what motor we can put into it and uh maybe we'll uh build a drift machine in this way we are doing this in stages as you can see we got it started all with drive now we're uh real -wheel drive with full power and we have to, may have to do a motor swap to get some more power in this thing to get this thing fully sideways but uh, it's definitely a fun little truck to have. And I feel like I will be building a full drift truck on this thing here today. Yep, I don't think the power is there. As much as I want it to be there in the stock motor, I don't think it's there. I feel like we could probably throw some weight reduction in this thing that might help, but uh, I think stock motor is only good for a little bit, but that was a nice little slide there. I feel like this car has, or this truck has the potential to have some sliding fun because it, it seems to have a decent amount of angle out of it. I'm worried if we throw more power into it, if uh, it's going to totally screw it up. Oh, that was nice. That was somewhat clean. All right, let's add some more power to this bad, this bad girl here. So we can put a 7.2 liter racing V8 in this car. Uh, I think we don't need to go much higher than that. Ooh, I don't think we're going to aspirate this. We're just going to see what power we can get out of this. We're going to be close to 1,000 horsepower, aren't we? 1,042. This thing is not going to be able to hold traction. It looks so awesome lowered. So, uh, well, 1,042 horsepower racing V8 under the hood of this thing for performance racing. Looks like it's the motor that might be in Von Gittin's car. I don't know, but uh, we are going to go send it and uh, see if we can get some slides in the uh, drifts, basically drift section. So I'm going to hop over there and... Uh, 
We're going to go full send on this 1,000 horsepower Raptor Ranger to end this episode off, have some slides. So now we definitely have power in this truck. I feel like the fourth gear is still too, too steep. Go. Is this my new favorite drift truck? You have arrived at your destination. Ooh, just grazing the wall. I feel like we threw the power into this thing and it's definitely opened this thing up. to a whole nother monster. This thing is a lot of fun. I recommend throwing the race V8 in here and just going full send on this truck. Rear wheel drive swap it. It's got angle. I'm actually very impressed with the uh, amount of angle that this thing is actually uh, able to hold. Seeing as how it doesn't have any type of uh, angle mods, but it's uh, definitely a fun truck to have in the lineup of cars that we do have here on Forza Horizon 4. Oh my. I think I'm just going to keep drifting this thing around. If you guys want to keep seeing more on this drift truck, let me know down in the comment section down below. Maybe do a little uh, Gymkhana drifting section in the stunt arena with it. Maybe tweak the suspension some and have a little bit more fun with it. But for today, that is going to do it. I hope you guys are having a good 4th of July. And uh, I hope you guys are staying safe and uh, having fun with friends and family. I am going to be shredding this truck more and more throughout this uh, Lego village and maybe take it up to the mountains in the Forza expansion. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys next time.